Frank Gehry, born 1929, is a Canadian architect whose completely original, sculptural and audacious work has created worldwide recognition and admiration. He has won architecture's arguably highest award, the Pritzker Prize, in 1989. He emigrated to Los Angeles in 1947, where he studied architecture at the University of Southern California two years later. He also studied city planning at Harvard in 1956. He created his own architectural firm in 1962 after getting experience with other firms beforehand. Gary is best known for experimenting with expressive designs, which heavily contrasted against the cold modernist buildings that were being constructed at the time. Early on in his career, he often built structures that highlighted and emphasised human scale. His quirky and creative designs included his own home, where he designed it in such a way that it made it look like his traditional bungalow had exploded. Frank Gehry also designed furniture, and throughout the 1970s he designed with corrugated cardboard in the form of easy edges and experimental edges. His amazing ability to surprise the viewer's expectations of traditional materials and forms led him to be classified as a deconstructivist architect. He regarded each new commission as a sculptural object, a spatial container, a space with light and air. This line of thinking definitely contributed to his success and he was rewarded with commissions worldwide in the 80s and 90s. His reputation further skyrocketed in the late 1990s. His trademark style had changed, with him being able to design buildings that resemble free-form sculpture. This is encapsulated with his Bilbao Guggenheim Museum. In his later career, he was also known for his many designs of music venues, including the Walt Disney Concert Hall, the J. Pritzker Pavilion, Chicago's Millennium Park, Bard's College, and the New World Center. The following five structures are some of his best designs. 5. Neuer Zoloff The Neuer Zoloff complex started a transformation of Dusseldorf's waterfront. The popularity of his structures meant that other famous architects, such as Mackey and Murphy Jean, took commissions, adding to the area that is now known as the Media Harbour. 4. Olympic Fish Pavilion. While very impressive, it is not necessarily one of his most jaw-dropping designs. However, this monumental golden steel mesh fish created for the 1992 Olympic Village in Barcelona represented a technological breakthrough for his architectural firm as it used 3D design software to realise the concept. 3. Walt Disney Concert Hall. This structure, reflecting Frank Gehry's passion for fishing, seats 2,265 people. The overall project cost is estimated to be $274 million, $110 million of which was used for the parking garage alone. Number 2. Gary House This is what arguably started his path to worldwide fame in 1978. He clad his existing bungalow in everyday building materials such as plywood and chain link. 1. Guggenheim Museum the building's 1997 opening created an explosion of publicity due to the design and construction being largely unnoticed until opening day. The Guggenheim Museum helped to completely revive the entire Bilbao economy.